what's up and good afternoon guys welcome back to another video today we got another special one for you got a little gear review um, over a tarp that I've got so stay tuned and we'll be right back right after this okay welcome back guys today we got another gear review for you this comes from Kalinko this is their three meter by three meter coffee brown El Fuego hammock tarp so this is what we'll be reviewing today and this three meter by three meter coffee brown three meter tarp is what I used for when I went hammock camping and I've been using it here recently great little tarp um, it is a bit short for uh, what I wanted to use it for it did work however um, I said it was just a, a little short on the ends from uh, like the end of the hammock on either end of it was short by like maybe six or eight inches so the end of the hammock hung out um, my hammock is uh, 11 foot long and the tarp here is only three meters by three meters um, I think it probably would have covered better had I had a um, instead of the hammock being like folded in half like it is here on the picture if I would have taken and done it more on like the diamond shape I think it probably would have turned out better um, now I will say this um, since I have been using this um, that tarp has worked flawlessly as far as like keeping me dry um, it's very lightweight it's only probably about maybe uh, two or three pounds maybe um, so it's, it's not bad uh, it is uh, 210 uh, polyester with a uh, rubber PU coating on the underneath side of it um, it has also been uh, taped as far as like on the seams and stuff like that um, in the center and um, For me, I think it would work better if it had a couple of more tie outs on it and um, The Like across like across the center of it. I think if it would have had like maybe two more uh, tie outs on it. I think it would work better um, It works great in a tent setup. It works great for hammock camping uh, I haven't really had much issue other than I have burned it <laughs> by accident um, I had a, a fire out away from the hammock and The wind was kind of high and it was blowing the the uh, sparks and ashes up into the air uh, Sparks landed on top of it and did burn a hole through it Um but that was in a high wind situation and I tried to keep my tarp as far away from the fire as I could uh, it just that the wind was just unpredictable um, and like I said it the ashes it was burning and throwing them up in the air and blowing them onto the tarp and uh, it did burn a hole in it so I will say that make sure that your fires are plenty far away uh, other than that I'm going to say that as far as on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say this is probably more like a, a 9, 9.5 maybe. Uh, I've set it up in a, a tent configuration in like two different types of tents. I've set it up on a diagonal on the hammock. I've also set it up in an A-frame on the hammock. And by far, I think the diamond shape on the hammock actually worked way, way, way better. Um, it seems to cover the ends just a little bit more than it would if it was on the A-frame style. So, anyway, that is the El Fuego's 3 meter by 3 meter coffee brown tarp. And I'm definitely going to give this thing a great rating. Um, like I said, I'm going to give it about a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Um, very lightweight, easily packable. Uh, you can pack it in, pack it out. Um, however, I will say this. Uh, the stakes that come with it will not, I repeat, will not go into the little um, 
stakeout points. Um, what you'll have to do is you'll have to put like either a piece of string or a piece of paracord or something like that into um, the deal and like tie a knot on it and then hook that onto your stakes once you get your stakes in the ground. Um, the stakes will not go into this. So what I ended up doing was is I went and bought um, an extra pair of just like the little aluminum just the cheapest of the cheap little silver steak uh, got them from Walmart and that way I could stake the back of it down and hold the tarp down to the ground um, those little like I guess j-shaped looking metal um, stakes or whatever because the stakes that come with it are uh, too wide and they won't go through the, the little loops so that's the only really downside to it so let me show you what I'm talking about here so what I did is I went and bought a few of these here the little I guess like the little J shape or whatever so that I could put them into the little um, hooks on the the tarp because the the stakes that come with it um, are like those little triangle shaped ones and they don't fit into the uh, pockets real well so uh, like I said I just went and bought some extra of those little hooks like this here to use with this particular tarp um, other than that that's really the only complaint that I had about it super lightweight it's got a it comes with its own little bag drawstring so, there you go, guys. That's my review of the Kalinko 3 meter by 3 meter tarp. Hope you all find it useful. Also, I'll be putting a link down in the description for it. So, if you all want to buy this, you all can. Um, now, I don't, I don't, you won't pay anything extra, you know, by clicking the link or anything like that. It just gives me a little bit of an extra kickback, you know, um, just a few cents uh you know off the off the cell or whatever so anyway there you go three meter by three meter Kalinko el fuego hammock tart hope you guys enjoy it i know i have and until next time i've been red fox of red fox outdoors get out enjoy nature bye guys <laughs>